Hey everybody, Will from One Kilo. Have you ever wondered how to qualify for the Olympics in weightlifting? Well today, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do it for the 2024 Paris Olympics. Hey all, glad you're here. If it's your first time, fifth time, 10th time, please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Just recently, the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, released their guidelines on how to qualify for the Olympics in weightlifting for Paris 2024. So today I'm here with the numbers and how to actually qualify so you know what's going on over the next couple years in your favorite sport, Olympic weightlifting. As you may or may not know, weightlifting is in some serious trouble in the Olympics. The IOC is mad about the rampant corruption and drug use that has plagued the Olympic Weightlifting Federations, the IWF, for so many years. And they've punished weightlifting by saying, this is the last Olympics that you will be in for sure. Now there's some steps that weightlifting can take to assure that they stay in in 2028 and beyond. But right now, Paris could be our last shot to watch weightlifting in the Olympics. And one of the things that the IOC did to punish the IWF is to reduce the number of athletes from 260 in Rio down to 120 athletes in Paris, or 196 in Tokyo down to 120 in Paris. That's not very many weightlifters. Previously, you could send full teams to uh, of seven, eight, 10 people per gender uh, to the Olympics, and now they've reduced it all the way down to just 120 total athletes across all weight classes. So to accommodate the newer, smaller number of athletes, they actually have reduced weightlifting from the 10 weight classes that are in it, 10 in a normal world championship competition, down to only five weight classes. So this means, with five women's and five men's weight classes, there's only gonna be 12 athletes in every single session. So that means there's just gonna be A sessions at the Olympics, so there will be no B sessions, just the best 12 athletes in the world in their respective weight classes. So with the reduction of weight classes, they took weight classes, uh, ha every other weight class out. So men are only gonna compete at 61, 73, 89, 102, and 102 plus. And women will only be able to compete at 49, 59, 71, 81, and 81 plus. So one thing that, that means is there are gonna be some really neat decisions made over the next couple years for athletes to go from one class to the other. If you think of everybody's favorite weightlifters, let's say, um, uh, if you think of everyone's favorite weightlifters, like a Toma, for instance, is she gonna to decide to go to 59? or 71. There are a lot of really good 109 weight class lifters who are gonna have to either go on down to 102 or really get huge to lift in the plus category. So aside from those five weight classes now, one of the other things is that there's only 100 OQR spots. OQR stands for Olympic Qualifying Ranking. So that takes up 100 of the 120 spots. The other 20 spots are gonna be given to France, they get four spots. There's 10 total continental spots, so athletes can take those if they're the tops in their continent. There's a couple different things to do on that list to get on there. And then there's just a couple for universality, which are really cool spots for athletes from underrepresented countries who might not have otherwise had an opportunity to compete in the Olympic Games. It will be really interesting to watch these 100 OQR spots. Athletes will have to compete in five to seven meets from August of 2022 to April of 2024. Really, this kicks off in November of 2022 with the World Championship in Bogota, Colombia. And it's gonna go all the way to a World Cup meet in April of 2024. And only at the end of that period will we know exactly who is gonna be in the Olympics. From this period, from 2022 to 2024, athletes will compete in five to seven meets. Two of them they have to compete in. They have to compete in the World Championships 2023 and the World Cup in 2024. Now, I say compete, but really all they have to do is weigh in, get introduced, and wave at the crowd, and then they can leave. Basically, they want athletes to be there for drug testing. 
But during that time, from those five to seven meets, the two that you have to do, and then you have to do three additional meets, and you can do up to these five meets, uh, three additional meets, they're gonna take the top 10 totals, it, and that's it. So you're gonna, they're gonna take the top 10 totals in each of the five women's weight classes and each of the five weight classes to get 100 totals, and those are gonna be the 100 invites of the OQR. One additional thing to watch that'll be really cool is there's a max of three per nation per sex. The United States cannot send five women, one in each weight class. China cannot send five women, one in each weight class. You are limited to three from per male or female uh, from your country. So any country could receive a max of six spots, three men, three women. And what that means is there'll be really tough decisions and battles within countries that the last Olympics we saw that China had to leave a couple gold medal favorites at home because they had better gold medal favorites. Similarly, in the United States, there's gonna be medal contending athletes who might get left at home based on this qualifying procedure. So I think you can see that this is gonna lead to some crazy drama in weightlifting. I know that I'm gonna start paying attention big time from Worlds in 2022 all the way through this World Cup meet uh, in 2024 to see who can make the Olympic team. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Sorry if I got a little long-winded about how to make the Olympics. I am super excited about watching this happen. I'm so sad about weightlifting potentially not being in, so I'm hopeful that the IWF makes those changes that are necessary to stay in the Olympics. But in the meantime, I am really excited to watch this next quad unfold as we look to see the best weightlifters in the world. Since you're still here, please um, think about dropping a comment below. Let me know who you think are some Olympic favorites. Uh, what about from the US? Who do you think might make the men's team and who might make the women's team? Uh, I'm, I have opinions. Let me know your opinions. And uh, again, thanks for joining me. Hey all, Will. Dirt. Have you ever wondered how to? So aside from, <clears throat> tell me who you think. Sorry, Will, that doesn't, we'll move that later.